Hey, what's up, guys? So I'm back with another video. Um, so I'm gonna do some poly and tracker videos this week, just to uh, spice it up. Still working on my Octa Track gang gang, so don't think I forgot about that. I will be um, spicing those in there too, but I can't forget one of my favorite pieces of gear, which is the poly and tracker, because I am a tracker nerd. Um, some things I wanted to talk to you guys about was like the recording options. So to get to that, um, basically let's uh, let's get out of here. Let's just go to pattern. Let's hit um, config. And then inside config, you have project settings. Below that, you have general. Inside there, you can go to recording options. And basically, you can have it where it can just record where it's quantized, and that's only notes. Then you can have it where it's recording basically uh, micro timing, um, which is like the um, shift. You know, if you want that Dilla, that, you know, that swing feel to get that, you have to have some micro timing, right? Bam. You can record that up in there um, so that you can have more loose beats. You can also record velocity. Remember um, that these are not velocity um, sensitive, but you can use an external like a um, keyboard, which I'm going to start playing with using a, a, a MIDI keyboard with this thing. And that will give you velocity. So, you know, that's it has a limitation. Bam. It gives you an opportunity to get past the limitation. So usually I keep it in uh, micro time and velocity, even though I do not have a um, keyboard connected currently. I do like to have the micro time in on there. Some of the other cool things about this is that the pattern arrangement, you can change it from vertical to uh, horizontal. So let's go over here, right, change it to horizontal, go back to um, pattern. Now when it sequences, it goes this way. This is mad weird to me. I'm not going to lie. Oh yeah, there's also something I wanted to do on this one. Um, I've had this one for a while, but I really wanted to keep the screen good and you know, I like to protect my stuff, but bam, it's a lot of filth and nastiness on there. First time seeing a true screen, goodbye. But yeah, um, that's a moment guys. <laughs> Uh, you know, like my, my poly, I've had it so for so long, it's dirty now. It's collected the gear dust that we all hate to have, but it obviously happens to all of the good pieces of gear. But this is one of my favorite pieces of gear, plus poly and as a company, I really like them. I also have their uh, poly and poly 2 up on my modular rack right there. So well, I got so excited, I knocked the camera. Anyway, but you can switch... Uh, uh, the pattern arrangement to horizontal, which is super tight to me. Um, I don't really use horizontal, but you know, hey, you can switch it up. Also, your line in channel, you can change it from um, just stereo, or you can have a mono left or a mono right. So that's that's pretty cool. I just keep mine on stereo. More cool stuff in there. We got the MIDI stuff. So if you're doing anything with MIDI, sending MIDI in, in or uh, or taking uh, or sending MIDI out or taking MIDI in, <laughs> hopefully you're not taking too much MIDI in. But um, if you do have MIDI coming into your poly and tracker, this is where you handle that. Now we have a metronome. They have a uh, state uh, and pre-roll. All this, the volume. I don't really use the metronome too often. Right now, I'm using firmware 1.5, but I'm going to go update to the beta. So uh, I think it's 1.6 beta, so I can try that out. The manual, they have a quick start guide in here. Uh, let's see how that looks. I've never used this. <laughs> wow, basics, play pattern, press play, play song, song plus play main uh, volume oh this is cool so it, it has basics in here this is a quick start guy this is really rare guys like what um device you know have a quick start guy and then you could go just put a qr so you go get your phone so you could take your phone uh and go basically like let's do it bam and then it'll take you to poly in of course, I was on Guitar Center looking for um, equipment that I can't buy. And then it'll take you poly in and make a, a, a uh, 
make an album. Look at some of their other stuff, guys. They got a drumming machine, a sequencer, a MIDI step sequencer. They got the Medusa. Yeah, Poly and A, man. Y'all need to mess with me. Send me a Medusa. They got the preset and Poly 2. I got this one. I got the Poly 2. They got the Poly and uh, Anywhere. And then they got the accessories. They actually uh, sent me some accessories like um, T-shirts and stuff. So I actually love Poly and for that. But yeah, if you guys want to ever send me more stuff, Polly in, I would love to take all your stuff. Uh, oh, let me look at these accessories. I didn't realize they had a tracker cover. Polly in got a tracker cover, bruh. Oh, it sold out. S 60 bucks. It's even more than an Electron one. They got a hard case. I knew they had the hard case. That sold out too. See, this is what I, when I started messing with Polly in, they were all sold out. It was like when they first came out and they just sold out because people was like, man, this shit's fire. And it is. It's super fire, bro. Like this, this, this piece of gear is like, it's next level for real. It's definitely some, it's, it's that new, new, it's that wave. So let's uh, get out of the config. But yeah, and then you can watch the credits. Like this, it's sick, man. And, it, and your master it gives you all your track information so that you can mute stuff, mix it, um, what file. This is how well, you can play games. What other thing you can play games on? Um, I'm gonna just, I don't never play these because um, I don't know. I, I act like too much of an adult sometimes. But look, lawnmower, press start. I don't know what start is. Well, I suck. I lost that game. Let me out of here. Let me out. Oh, snap. Oh, 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 oh. I'm cutting. Oh, no, I ain't got a fuel. I didn't blew up. How you get out of here? Can you back out? So I don't know how to back out. I don't really use the game that much, y'all. But the game is fire. Fire. Eight big games. Fire. Um, I'm just going to do that. But yeah. Poly and Tracker is a dope piece of gear. I made this video way longer than I wanted it. But um, yeah. Go buy one. Anyway, I have more Poly and stuff. Another very good secret that I want to impart before I, I leave because this is all about the the poly and secrets these are very very esoteric secrets like there's a, a ps4 controller right here it would be a ps5 one but i can't find one and i'm poor so make sure you like comment and subscribe to help me with the poor problem anyway <laughs> i'm not poor i'm just fucking with you guys i am an army veteran i have done too much army time to be poor yeah yeah exactly but um one thing that i want to leave with you guys i want to impart this is the shift button a lot of stuff is um hidden behind the shift button so just just use it and then when recording use shift and record bam the live record you can unarm the other tracks and so that you can just record in one track when I first started, I was recording. I probably was doing this until yesterday because uh, I always forget about shift and record. But I want you guys to remember that so you can be better than me. So you can be poly in kids. Um, you know, I'm not a poly in father, but I am a poly in grandfather because I've been using LSDJ since uh, since like yesterday. So that means I'm like the subject matter expert on all of this, you know, so just listen to me anyway the best thing to learn from this whole rant nine minute ten minute rant is to hit shift record and focus how you record your live recording so that you can keep everything in one track and it doesn't get all crazy because when it gets crazy when you start trying to go into different patterns and then um like you know figure out what is what your mind might just be it might just explode and then you will have like explosion stuff, right? It's, it's going to be nasty, but um, I'll highlight you guys. Peace.